and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to put text into perspective. Let's start right here with the original and I use the type tool. I click on my canvas, create some text. I press Ctrl A to select it all and let me give it a different color. You can pick for example white right here or use this eyedropper tool to sample a color from your original image. I want to put it right here where it's a little bit lighter, so I use the dark part as the color for the text. You can adjust the font and the size obviously here as well. If you're new to this tool, check out my playlist, I've made a video about it. Once you're done, we need the perspective tool right here. Shift P is also the short key for it. And I believe by default the scale tool is active, so it's the same toolbox where you can find the scale tool. Then left click on your text and you'll get this new bounding box. And you can readjust the four nodes, the four anchor points, and just follow the straight lines that you've got in your original image, in my case this tunnel. And when you've got what you want, click on transform up here. You can also press enter and it should work. When you want to readjust it, let's just say you're not happy with the result. Don't just use the perspective tool again, as you would apply yet another perspective onto the text that is already in perspective. So press Ctrl Z instead until you've arrived at this point where it's not in perspective and then use it again. I use this opportunity to make it a little bit bigger. So let me press Ctrl A again while I have the type to active and I make it 900. And that's fine. You can still move it around, but be careful. You don't want to have the original active. You want to have the text layer right here active, and then you can move it around with the move tool. No problem with that. Let's go over it for the other side once more. This time I'll do it a little bit quicker. You want to have the original active. Left click with the type tool, Ctrl A to select it all, resize it, let's say to 900, sample a color from the original, move it a little bit to the center, then use the perspective tool, left click on it, reposition your anchors, When you've got the right position, click on transform. You may want to use the move tool and reposition it slightly. A nice little detail that you can add is select one of your text layers. Let me use the tunnel text. Then go to filters, light shadow and add a drop shadow. You can see that right here, if I check the preview. Don't go too high with the blur radius, give it at around 30, something like this. And you may want to increase the opacity. Just confirm it and you can see the difference between left and right. And this is basically the process that I use to put text into perspective using GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.